Today on the channel, we're looking at another highly anticipated G.I. Joe Classified Series retro card figure. We're looking at Duke on where I got it figured. Well, I got to figure back with another G.I. Joe Classified Series review. This time we're looking at Retro Card Duke. Like Scarlet, picked this one up at Target. I uh, got it earlier than it would have released on Hasbro Pulse. In fact, they still haven't released on Hasbro Pulse. Uh, the 10th was the date for those guys. Um, but if you check your targets, you will find him. Perhaps Scarlet, perhaps Rakondo. But they are around, so check your targets. So, uh, you know, the retro card is rather large, so I apologize for not being all the way in the frame. But we are going to look at the package as always. Just before we get into that, though, we'll talk about Duke a little bit. Duke is the first sergeant of the G.I. Joe team. And uh, this is sort of like a do-over for Duke. His original version, I don't want to say it was like not good or anything like that, but uh, it was based on a game that ended up not even really going anywhere. And the G.I. Joe classified team switched gears to a more, let's say, nostalgic take on the classified series. So. You know, this one is a lot more in line with people's expectations of uh, of Duke and G.I. Joe in general. So we're going to look at the packaging, get the figure out, uh, talk about it, do some comparisons, and get you out of here with some final thoughts. But as normal, we will start with the packaging. And you've got Duke here. Nice card art. Updated card art. It's not the original art. It's just like a takeoff on that. And in the package you see Duke with all of his accessories. Which we're going to get into. Then on the back you've got your cross cell. You saw this on the Scarlet video, which I already did the video for that. We've got his file card here. I'll bring it in. Conrad as Hauser, her sergeant, airborne infantryman, artillery and small arms armor, birthplace St. Louis, Missouri. Graduated at the top of his class in airborne school after running four different special forces schools he turned down a commission to instead serve as acting first sergeant of gi joe we'll get into duke his accessories and everything like that so we'll get him out and see what we've got We got Duke out of his package and all of his accessories uh, arrayed before him as we normally do. He comes with quite a bit of accessories. The retro card line has kind of been impressive with what they've been doing in this particular instance. I, I, I would say they've always been um, impressive. You know, Snake Eyes came with a lot of stuff. They did the gung-ho where they made them look like old school gung-ho. They've done some pretty cool things um, here and there in the retro card selection. Storm Shadow, another one. Uh, but with these new ones, they seem to be really knocking it out of the park. So we've got Duke with all of his classic accessories. His... Uh, M32 pulverizer, grief, grease gun that the toy came with back in the day. Of course, the magazine is still removable. So it's really like a two part accessory. Then, of course, he comes with the 
XLMR3 or Sunbow kind of laser rifle that sometimes bullet casings would also come out of too. Which is actually shown on the box art, but the figure came with the uh, grease gun. So you got that. You've got the backpack, which is the same backpack that the old Duke came with. But this one, of course, has the wording on it. And you can see uh, what it says here. G.I. Joe, Real American Hero. We're fighting for, you know, wherever, wherever there's trouble over land and sea and air, G.I. Joe is there. That's nice. I know some people think it's corny or cheesy, but I like it. So I'm not looking at his backpack anyway. And he comes with this pistol, which is a which is a new pistol. I haven't seen this on anybody. And it's a it's got the you know blast effect port. I'm an M911 guy. I think all these guys should come with M911s. Um, and so, not that not that this one isn't cool. It's actually kind of cool. But, you know, eBay's going to make a mint off of me for keep buying all these M911s that I want to, you know, replace with my Joes. Uh, but this one, it's not bad. It's definitely better than the so-called nerf blaster uh that the other one and some figures still come with um and i don't even want to say that that one looks bad it's just that it doesn't have a blast effect port which makes it like literally like an accessory like a fashion accessory like you can't really do anything with it of course he's duke so he comes with two fisted hands and that's that's cool. I would have liked him to come with a saluting right hand, but I get it. They don't want to go too heavily into sloganisms and that kind of thing. So I understand. Then he comes with this knife, which is like molded in the in the form of the knife that the original figure from 1983 and 84 had on his belt. And, you know, it's like fully, fully paint apt. So that's really nice. And then, of course, he's got the classic binoculars that he came with. And they were cast in black as well. So, you know, matches. And lest we forget... He comes with the G.I. Joe figure stand, which I kind of only ever use for guys that just don't want to stand up. But, you know, it's nice to get them. Looking at Duke himself. Oh, I'm sorry. I almost forgot. He comes with the helmet. And the helmet is definitely the classic 1982 helmet. Which Duke came with, but his didn't have holes for a visor. Roadblock also came with that helmet. All of the 1982 and 83 Joes, or 1982, 1983 swivel arm Joes, and 1984 clutch with the Vant Mark II came with this helmet with holes in it. So I think it's cool that they gave it to Duke, and he's got the visor. But what I find odd is that they've been making original 13 Joes with updated helmets. They don't, none of them have this helmet, but you know, we're going to get it. Uh, they might, you know, I can, I can actually see them doing a retro card grunt and he'll have this helmet and the other Joes will kind of get this helmet if they get retro card figures. Definitely Flash, Short Fuse, Zap. They were the ones, Grand Slam. They were the ones that had the visor. Hawk, 
uh, if we ever get the original version of him. So it's nice. It's a little weird they gave it to Duke, though, but it's nice. I mean, the visor part, not the helmet part. Star Duster, we know he's coming, so this helmet is definitely more appropriate to him. Now, to look at Duke. He looks looks really good in hand. He looks much better in hand. You know, the figure looked good on the internet and in pictures and everything like that. But in hand, you know, he looks really good. I still think he looks just a little bit younger than what I would have him look. But he looks older than the other Duke, which was really always my biggest complaint. It wasn't about the armor pieces or any of that stuff. It was more that the character didn't credibly seem like an E8 Master Sergeant uh, at that age. But the portrait, really nice. He's on the newer uh, body with the with the new abdomen that we started getting on like bazooka. So looking at his articulation while we've got him, you know, you're definitely losing some, some waste, uh, some ab crunch. You're definitely losing some of that. I'm not like a guy who's going to go in and dremel out the waist or try and dremel out the, the ab to make it more, but you know, it's there, but it's not the best. Obviously you can still do the T pose. He's got the butterfly joints because G.I. Joe Classified gets basically everything that they, they have to offer in uh, action figure technology. Drop down legs. Nice high kick. Pretty decent back kick. It's like almost like unrealistically decent. Not too tight in the knees, so you can do the the full the full knee compression. Not too tight in the arm. I'd go as far as to say he's you know buttery smooth in a sense. Head looks up a good bit. Looks down a good bit. Obviously, you got your waist swivels. So he's, you know, he's pretty, pretty, pretty good on the articulation front. And you got your ankle rocker, of course. And then finally, you've got your. Uh, wrist. There you go. So yeah, he looks good. I mean, he looks, you know, he looks like a new version of the classic Real American Hero figure. And uh, I like it. If I had any any complaint at all, I don't want to call it a, I, I, I don't know. Let's call it a quibble. I don't want to call it a complaint. I would have given him some kind of extra belt, you know, just to make it not seem like it's just painted on. Thought we were kind of beyond that at this point. So that's kind of my only, to call it a gripe, you know, it's really more like a nitpick. But he looks great. This guy looks great. It's Duke. Um, you know, this is kind of, what you think of when you think of Duke. Probably would have wanted him to maybe have a scar on his eye or something. Uh, you know, G.I. Joe. The guys that are exemplary of G.I. Joe generally have a scar on them somewhere. On their face. But he's good. He's great. He's awesome. So we're going to get him geared up. Come back with that.
So we've got Duke geared up and I decided to go uh, straight toy release with him. So uh, he's got the polarizer and uh, he's got his helmet on, backpack and everything like that. To start it off, so you know, you see his belt, his uh, his knife is in there, pistols holstered, and he's wearing the rest of his accessories. And uh, you know, yeah, he looks cool, looks like Duke. So, I guess what I'll do now is give him his. Kind of classic look, box art look. So there you go, classic Duke. And what I'd like to do now is uh, bring in some guys for a comparison. So first we'll start with the Dukes for comparison. So here is OG Duke, but uh, this is the field variant. I didn't want the orange, I wanted the not orange. So he dropped all those accessories, but that's okay. Then we'll bring in Tiger Force Duke. I guess we'll real quickly compare the profiles and this Duke just looks boyish he just looks very boyish just young he just looks very young and it just doesn't make sense you know it, it it's fine for a character I just think that you know Duke is just skewing a bit too young his figure always bothered me and that he looks so young then we will bring in his his uh, fellow retro card, Wave Meat, Scarlet. You don't need to read anything more into it than that, because that ain't his girlfriend, as far as I'm concerned. And then of course we'll bring in his commanding officer, GI Joe Commander, Hawk. And then the final guy we got to bring in, the guy I associate mostly with, with Duke. We got to bring in Roadblock. So in the lore of the comic book, uh, Duke and Roadblock joined the G.I. Joe team literally together. Which, you know, was something that was at least explored in, uh, in the G.I. Joe Retaliation movie. So there you go. Duke and Roadblock. And Roadblock, of course, has his proper Ma Deuce. And I think they look great together. So I'm going to move on to final thoughts. Final thoughts on G.I. Joe Classified Series Retro Card Duke. I think he's great. I got to say, I like him just as much as I like Scarlet. I can't. Scarlet was the one I wanted the most, but I like him just as much. I I you know they're they're like equal to me. And yeah, he's great. This is like kind of what you think of when you think of Duke. He's not a shade off of Duke. Everything's everything's right with this guy. And so, time to retire old faithful here. Um you know, I'm never throwing or giving away any of my Joes, but it's not going to be the main one in my collection. And uh I'm good with this. This is you this know. is what I wanted. This is what what I what I wanted. We all have the 
the fight with nostalgia? Do we want new updated versions? Do we want exact copies of the figures from of years ago? Or do we want something kind of in between? I, f I do feel like this is an update, but it's also kind of in between. It's it's good enough that uh, you know for me that he's that he's different enough. I like him. I think he's great. I'm gonna give him a ten. He's a ten. Probably gonna be a classified figure of the year candidate, to be honest. So that's how I see it. Let me know how you see it down in the comments. For sure. So that's going to be it for this one. If you're new to the channel, I want to entreat you to like and subscribe. We just hit 400 subscribers as of me shooting this video. Please join us. And for everybody who helped me get this far, thank you so much. Always want to keep delivering great content. You've got more Joes coming, more Transformers coming more star wars coming definitely more marvel Legends coming stuff that i have coming is all there's all more of it coming i'm having a lot of fun which is the main reason i do this in the meantime everybody stay safe and i'll see you all on the next video peace the way i got it figured <laughs>